Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. We are taking a break from my save file to work on something else. Uh, well, this is for a save file. So uh, if you're new here, welcome. And I just wanna explain really quick uh, about this build and about this save file. So I have been working with a bunch of amazing simmers um, from the Instagram community mostly, some from Twitter as well that I've connected with. Um, but, you know, basically almost the whole time that I've been making builds for The Sims and doing YouTube, I've organized collaborations and gotten people together in the community to make different builds. and. Um, I started making save files out of them. So everybody gets assigned a lot and a world and a theme and all of that fun stuff. And then we go for it. So for um, this one in particular, we are doing Japan. So we wanted to turn, I said, how cool would it be if we can make San Maishuno? I always got that those vibes from it. Um, when I first downloaded it and everything and I first got the pack, I love this pack, but I never built here because it's modern and I don't really do modern that much. But let me tell you something. I have really enjoyed building this. I don't know if it was just, um, <laughs> my son learned a new sound, so he makes it a lot. So if you hear him, he's running around. He just woke up. He's full of energy this morning. Um, sorry, I'm jumping around so much, but I really did enjoy building this um, and you know I think in the future I do have some ideas for Del Sol Valley and for San Maestrino for my personal fantasy save file so I think it'll be fun to see me do some more modern stuff mixed in with some occult stuff in the future so I'm definitely looking forward to that um, you know this making this build made me remember how much I sometimes enjoy doing a modern build so yeah, anyways, we're doing two worlds for this save file. So there's 44 other people, I think, involved. Um, Simply Tierra did the artwork for the whole collab, which is incredible. And everybody that's in the collab is listed in the description box. I'm also going to link anybody's YouTube channel for anybody that did um, a build for the collab and i want to make sure i tell you guys all the important things oh if you are playing on console and you want to download these builds and you can't download the save file you can search on the gallery i love japan collab um, and if you want to see them on instagram you can search i and then the heart emoji uh, love japan so i heart Japan collab, if that makes sense. I'll write it down in the description box so it makes more sense for you. Um, but yeah, you can see everything on there. And like I said, if you're playing on console, you can just search for them on the gallery. You can see everybody's builds and download them. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm going to share with you guys the actual save file. So it's going to include San Maishuno and Mount Komarebi. And I can't even tell you guys how gorgeous this is. I am so blown away by everybody's talent and just the fact that it really, really looks like you're in Japan. Um, it's really kind of trippy to see all these Japanese style apartments in San Maishuno. So I'm so excited to show you guys the tour tomorrow um, and for you guys to download it if you want to. Um, I think you guys are really going to love it. I think it's a really special um, save file. And, you know, uh, I had mentioned that I've been doing collabs for a while. And the other worlds that we have worked on, if you haven't seen before, is we also worked on Oasis Springs and Willow Creek. And in Oasis Springs, we made that into um, ancient Egypt. And Willow Creek we did in a New Orleans style. So <clears throat> those are all on my channel if you want to watch the tour videos as well as the playlist for all the people that were involved in the collabs. Um, which I don't know if I said it already, but there will be a playlist for this collab in the description box. So 
Yeah, but my point of telling you that is um, what I decided was I'm going to, once all of the worlds are done, since I've done a different one every time, um, once they're all done, I'm going to put them all together in one big save file so people will be able to download it. And it'll sort of be like an around the world collab in a sense. And uh, what I'm going to do is a few people have done more than one of these collabs, but what I'm going to do is I think it's really important to include new people that are trying to branch out and, you know, get involved in the Sims community. So I'm going to try to um, ask people that have never done a, a collaboration before to be involved uh, so we can, you know, make sure that we involve as many simmers as possible. I think it'll be a really, really cool save file. Um, in the end and I already have a really great idea for the Christmas seat. Well, it's not going to be Christmas themed, but it's going to come out uh, In December. So yeah, that's all I know about it so far as the theme and the general idea of when I want it to come out but anyways um, So yeah, like I said check out the description box for all of the good info that you guys need to know and uh, For this build you'll see I didn't even talk about the build this whole time so, um, I got a penthouse, obviously, you can see, but um, I initially was trying to go for these light wood colors and white, and I basically decorated the whole first floor in these light colors, and it just wasn't sitting right with me. It's just not my style. It's not what I'm used to doing. It looks beautiful, but uh, man, I just wasn't feeling comfortable with it. So, um, I furnished a little on the inside, and then I went back to the exterior to see um, if I wanted to switch that around. It just, something didn't feel right. <laughs> so I ended up switching basically the whole color scheme to a much darker, it's mostly black and wood tones. And I want to say that it's Japanese inspired. Um, I don't want to say I made a Japanese apartment because I don't, I, I can't say if I'm, you know, accurate or not, and I don't want to be, you know, disrespectful to the culture or anything like that. So, um, it's definitely Japanese inspired. I tried to limit how many packs I used. I used a lot of stuff from obviously Snowy Escape, City Living, um, Eco Lifestyle, and Dream Home Decorator. So, uh, one other gripe that I have that I noticed, maybe, maybe it's me. I don't know you guys will have to tell me but as i was decorating this apartment i realized that there is more modern stuff than i could possibly furnish a house with i would need a huge mansion to use all of the modern furniture and options that we have in the game um to actually use them all so there's so much less occult stuff and i i know this game is not you know was never made you know necessarily for occult gameplay you know it started out as you know a regular game but oh man that made me so frustrated when i was building because there's so many times where i wish i had different furniture or you know whatever and I don't because the style is just not there. But there is so much modern furniture and it all looks the same. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't want to say anything else bad because it is beautiful. But um, there's a lot of it. So, yeah. I hope we get a new occult game pack before the end of the year. Um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, what you guys think of this build, and I'd love to hear from you if you download the save file. That's like so um, important to me, and it's just really awesome to get some feedback. If there's anything that you find wrong with the save file that you'd like us to know about, just let me know. Um, I appreciate it. And hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.